Uh, how frustrating is it when you buy a new pint or gallon of ice cream at your local grocery store and you get it out, you eat it, you put it back in the freezer, and then a couple days later you get it out again and it has that little form of ice on top of it. Well, this is very simple and I could tell you how you could prevent it. So when taking your ice cream home from the grocery store to your house, it began to melt, which let the ice crystals start to form. Then you took it out again and took some out to eat it, maybe defrosted it a little so you can actually scoop it out into a bowl and it began to defrost again. More ice crystals begin to form. And then the longer you left it in your freezer, the longer those crystals have time to continue to form after it froze and refroze and defrosted and refroze again. So a simple way to prevent this is to always keep your ice cream containers upside down so that way that liquid, that defrost, will go back into the lid, it won't go back into your ice cream so it won't create any ice forming in your ice cream. And you can also keep it in the coldest part of your freezer, which would be the back corners. So the two corners in the back of your freezer are the coldest parts of your freezer. The middle of your freezer is the warmest part of your freezer. So keep it in the corners, upside down. Whatever liquid you have will drip out so ice won't form inside your ice cream. And if you really don't like having any ice in your ice cream, if you take a piece of wax paper and put it between your lid and your ice cream, it forms an extra barrier to keep the air out, which also helps create the ice in the ice cream. So if there's no air getting in and it's upside down, you have a less chance of having ice forming in your ice cream. If you wanna find out more ice cream tips, just like and follow us and we'll post some more tips for you.